We've looked to see if a relation is a function based on a set of ordered pairs. We've also looked at it kind of pictorially. Now let's determine, uh, see if we can determine if something is a function algebraically. Here I have an equation, y is equal to 2x plus 3. And in order to de determine whether or not it's a function, we're basically going to solve the equation for y. And if there is more than one value for y, it is not a function. Okay, so this equation right here states y is equal to 2x plus 3. It's already solved for y, and there is, uh, no, there is only one, one value for y represented, so this one is a function. Let's look at this example right here, x squared plus y equals 6. If I'm supposed to solve the equation for y, I'm going to subtract x squared to the right-hand side, and I end up with 6 minus x squared. So there is only one value for y once I solve it, and this would also be considered a function. Yes, it is a function. How about this one down here? This one says x squared plus y squared equals 10. We're going to solve the equation for y by subtracting x squared to the right-hand side, so I get 10 minus x squared. Solving for y, we have to take the square root of both sides. That tells me that y is equal to either a positive or a minus square root of 10 minus x squared. Because I have two possible values for y, this is not a function. So algebraically, I can come through and I can say, just by simply solving an equation, I can determine whether or not it's a function by uh, seeing how many possible solutions there are for y. Now, a lot of you may remember, um, and you may not, I don't know, but in high school or in Algebra 1, you learn what we call the vertical line test. So if I have a graph right here, here I have a parabola, and the vertical line test says, if I drop a vertical line or I pass a vertical line across my graph, then if it touches the graph only at one place, it's considered a function. So if I were to move my vertical line, you know, across my graph, it's only going to touch the function, or it's only going to touch my uh, picture one time, no matter what. Over here on this picture, you can see by taking the vertical line test, I have uh, this shape right here. And if I were to pass the vertical line over this graph, it's going to touch the graph in more than one spot, and it is therefore not a function. Now, if we were to look at the ordered pairs of this, um, of where we are touching the graph, you can see that uh, by definition, um, when when we define a function for every x, there is exactly one y. Well, this one says right here that if I have this x, I have two possible y values, and that's why it's not considered a function. And the vertical line test is just kind of an easy picture for us to determine it. Going back up here to the three um, examples that we worked, if you look over here at this first um, first equation, this is actually the graph of a line. This is a linear equation right here, and if I were to draw a linear equation and drop a uh, vertical line over it, you can see that yes, that is a function. Over here, this is a picture of a parabola. Okay, so this equation right here is represented by something that looks something like this, which is the picture we had below. And if I were to drop a vertical line on it again, oops, if I were to drop a vertical line on it, you can see that it doesn't, it does pass the vertical line test. Now here, this is the equation that we solved and said it's not a function. You may or may not remember, but this equation is represented by a circle. So here I have a circle. And if I were to drop a vertical line on my circle, you can see that my line is touching the circle at more than one spot. And that's how come this is not a function. So we can, without graphing a function, 
we can determine whether or not, or without graphing an equation, we can determine whether or not it's a function by seeing whether or not y is represented, uh, has more than one value. But quickly, we can also determine if it's a function by the vertical line test.